So this brings me to the very last part, and that is the curing process. As mentioned in the very beginning, resin art is a patient art. There's all kinds of people that want to speed up that process of curing. I understand it, uh, especially if you are in the zone and you're working hard and you want to get stuff done, but it's always best to just wait. <laughs> Anytime you try and rush something, that's when disasters happen. There are ways that people try and speed up the curing process. I do not utilize any of those ways. I try and have the patience. I know it's tough. Some of those ways can actually end up ruining your project. There's curing mats, there's pressure chambers, there's heating it up. Um, I always advise against heating things up too much because it is a chemical and it's creating that heat to make a chemical reaction. If you get too much heat in there, you're going to have a problem. Your environment again is going to play a part in how long something takes to cure. Most tabletop and coating resins are going to be somewhere around the 24 hour mark till they're cured enough to they're hard to touch. Uh, however, they still are going to be not fully cured. So what that means is you can paint on it, you can touch it, but if you were to turn it upside down to try and get the drips off and you put it on something, it might leave marks or impressions in the resin project and uh, you don't want that. So let it fully cure before you do any work on the back. Fully cure, it's going to again depend on your resin. Deep pour resins take a lot more days to cure. So what do you do if your resin hasn't cured? Uh, well, there was probably a mistake made somewhere in the process of mixing, whether you used too much of one part or you know what, it happens sometimes you didn't pay attention and you accidentally did part A and then part A again. That's actually something that I did once when I first started, I just was caught up in my thoughts, didn't even realize that I had poured two of the same parts. And of course, everything I poured did nothing. So there's oftentimes it's just something that we have done. We've made a mistake and it happens. Some of the other reasons for resin not curing properly is going to be if you're using UV resin and you've put way too much color pigment in there, the UV resin needs light, the UV light to come through it. So if it can't get all the way through the resin, you're not going to get a cure out of that. Sometimes a cure will take longer simply because of how cold your room is. You can put a space heater in your room to warm things up. That can help you as well. Most often than not, unfortunately, a cure that doesn't happen is based on user error. So if it happens to you, uh, it's usually it's something you'll learn from. It's hopefully not going to happen the next time. If it keeps happening to you, then I would perhaps say double check all your instructions. Make sure that you are measuring your resin according to the instructions. If it's supposed to be done by volume and not weight, then make sure you're doing it by volume. And also know that resin doesn't dry, I know, but a lot of people are under the misconception that it dries and that air flow or air current has something to do with it, but it does not. It's a chemical reaction. It's a curing process, not a drying one. So airflow is, has nothing to do with the resin. However, airflow can get lint and dust in your project. So make sure while it's curing, if it's something small enough, if you want to cover it, that's the best way to keep lint out. Because once something's cured, if it's got a big dog hair or lint in there, you are going to have to sand it out and do another layer, which you know what, we've all been there and done that too. Bottom line, it's an art that takes some patience. Don't try and rush things. Trust the process and let things cure on their own.